Today I'm going to talk about the behavior of one of the most loved fish in the aquarium hobby, and that's the Oscar cichlid. Hey fish friends, how's it going? Hope you're doing well. Zenzo with Tazawa Tanks. So if you've been following my channel for a while, you know that I do have an Oscar cichlid, and uh, you probably know the story. If you don't know the story, I'll put some links up here, some different cards of uh, kind of what happened to Oscar and how I came to get him. But I do get a lot of questions from viewers all around the world about Oscars, about uh, Oscar care. I have made a, a video about Oscar care, so I will share that as well. But then in addition, I get a lot of questions about their behavior, tank mates, things like that. So I thought I would talk about that briefly and give you some ideas as far as Oscar behavior and how you might best care for them. So one of the reasons why Oscar cichlids are so loved in the hobby is that they are very affectionate and seem to have a personality. Now, a lot of times when people are asking about fish, they don't tend to think that fish have personalities. They kind of look at them as, you know, decorations and, you know, just an animal that you keep in a glass box. While they are beautiful, cichlids tend to have a lot of personality, and Oscar cichlids are exceptional in the fact that they uh, almost are like puppy-like in how they interact with you, and I think that's one of the reasons why they're so loved in the hobby. One of the things that you might learn if you have an Oscar or if you're looking at Oscars is that they can be a little bit on the moody side. So it's not uncommon to have an Oscar after a water change or after you've moved some decorations around in the tank or introduce a new fish or if you're feeding a food that it doesn't particularly like that the fish will kind of sulk and sit on the bottom lay on its side almost you might think that it's dying it's not it's just kind of like sulking and in a bad mood and uh, they can kind of uh, be kind of brats at times uh, when they don't get what they want so as I said, they can be kind of moody. Um, so if you do have some changes in your aquarium and uh, you notice that your Oscar fish is kind of kind of sitting on his side or um, you know just kind of sitting in a corner, not showing a lot of life, and sometimes they kind of sit there and you'll look at them and their eyes will kind of move around, their, their eyeballs will kind of move around and look at you. So they're kind of like looking at things and checking things out, but uh, for some reason they're bothered about something it doesn't mean that there's anything wrong with the water it doesn't mean there's anything wrong with the aquarium it's just the fact that they're kind of uh, grumpy and they're just kind of like hanging out and chilling in their corner another thing about their behavior that sometimes people uh, misconstrue is their aggression so when you look at an oscar they're a large cichlid you know anywhere from maybe a smaller one might be eight or nine inches up to 10, 12, 13, 14 inches for some really large ones. And in being in the cichlid family and in being a larger fish, you tend to think that, uh, you know, they might be bullying other fish and they can handle, you know, some other large aggressive fish in the same tank, but really they can't. For the most part, they would be kind of mildly aggressive. So they can be a little territorial uh, about their tank or parts of their tank. So that might be something that you'll need to consider and look at if you're gonna keep multiple Oscars. But if you are keeping an Oscar, on its own without any other Oscars in the tank, do make sure that you don't have other large aggressive fish in there that are going to bully that Oscar. And even though it's large and kind of looks the part, really deep down they're kind of sweethearts and they're not really that aggressive. Another thing about Oscars is they're very curious. So cichlids tend to be kind of curious in nature and um, again, cichlids usually have more personality than some of your other common community fish and the Oscar cichlid seems to be extra curious when it comes to decorations in the tank. If you have any plants, they probably won't last long because they'll uproot them and tear them apart. Um, they will uh, move gravel around in your tank and move decorations. Um, and you'll also notice like if you put something in the tank, they will kind of look at it. And you'll see that kind of eyeball kind of move around at times. Um, if you put, sometimes like if you open the top, you can kind of see them uh, kind of come towards the surface. And of course they're looking for food, but sometimes they're just kind of coming to check out and see what you're doing, you know, at the surface of the tank and, you know, what you're up to. Now, one of the fun things about them being curious and them being personable is you can feed them with your hands. So I've hand fed Oscar many times and uh, I'm not going to feed him right now because um, he's already eaten today. But when it is feeding time and I come up to the tank, he will swim up and greet me at the surface and will eat out of my hand if I so choose to. So overall, just know that your Oscar is uh, kind of a very fun-loving, personable, affectionate, fun, wet pet. So the way that you look at your dog or your cat, um, kind of look at your Oscar the same way. Of course, they're fish and they're in a glass box. 
but uh, they do have that kind of fun personality about them. They will interact with you. They will know who you are and they will you know, build a relationship and a bond with you. And uh, that is really fun. If you like this video, if you want to see more videos about the aquarium hobby, freshwater tanks, Oscars, and all kinds of other stuff, hit the sub button down below. Uh, give it a thumbs up if you like it. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you on the next one.